Sydney with impressive form on the board, although they had lost their only game of the season away to Newcastle. Missing through injury were experienced campaigners Steve Blair and That's Angie Postacoglu. Right. In came the previously transfer-listed Paul Fernandez and former Canadian international Robert Chabai. However, it's been the hellish attack everyone has been talking about. 23 goals in just seven matches, with 16 of those coming from the strike force of Taliodorus, Trimboli and Salakis. I don't know, I don't think there's any special reason. I mean, obviously, uh, especially at home, we've been dominating the games, which means that we get a lot of chances up front. I don't know, I mean, I think we always used to create a lot of chances. We just, maybe they're going in at the moment. I think you have your, your chances during the season, and sometimes they're going in, sometimes they're not. Maybe we're just in the good part of the moment. Put the Fairfielders ahead in the 14th minute. Many critics were surprised Harper had started ahead of Seal, and just three minutes later, he almost made it 2 0. Marconi's confidence has picked up considerably in the past fortnight and it was very evident in the first half. Even the defenders like Steve Georgiakis looked for goal and midway through, the Olympic team player also tried his luck. South Melbourne only had one opportunity, if you could call it that. A cheeky back heel by Taliodorus going wide. Then it was the John Markovsky show. First, he unleashed a wicked 30-metre drive that surprised many. None more so than Hellas keeper Bruce McLaren. And just minutes before the break, Markovsky was at it again. All that pressure, but only one goal to show for it. Early in the second half, Marconi continued to dominate. In the 49th minute, experienced striker David Lowe broke down the left and crossed towards Harper. That miss was the turning point. Seconds later, Paul Fernandez underlined the desperation of the Hellas defence. You wondered when the Marconi pressure would end, as they continued to attack looking for the second goal. And that had not been for a save from McLaren, that would have been the case. In the 72nd minute, South Melbourne started to take control. A Talakis free kick was blocked, and Taliadoris had his shot saved. Then, just three minutes later, super sub Konbutsianis pounced after Taliadoris' shot was blocked. His equaliser, the third goal of the season for the youngster. I mean, we didn't play well, well in the first half.